Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Nginx Proxy Manager and after we do that we're going to make our Portainer instance public for anyone to access. Now to do that we're going to need a couple of things. First off we are obviously going to need a system with Docker and Portainer installed. I just did a tutorial on that that will be linked up here. Uh, second off we are going to need a domain. I'm going to use this one, archive it. Um, I'm not using it for anything else, so it'll work fine for this tutorial. Then I don't have to blur anything, which is always a pain. Okay, so let's head over to our Portainer instance, and then we're going to add container, and we're going to name this Nginx Proxy Manager. Okay, and then we are going to go over to the install guide, which will be linked in the description below. We're not going to use Docker Compose. I've never really been a fan of it. Um, also, Portainer is going to take care of all that stuff for us. So there's not really much point in using that. So let's go ahead and copy the image name and tag from here. We're going to go ahead and paste that in so we can see that it is there. Next, we're going to head into here and go restart policy. And I like to do unless stopped. Um, if this is something that you're putting in production, I would definitely say always, but I like to do unless stopped because that's just what I do. Next, we are going to need to add the ports. So let's go add, well, add three of these. We're gonna need to open up 80 under TCP, 443 and 81 as well. So now 81 is going to be the GUI that we access the proxy manager with and then 443 will be for SSL and 80 will be for regular HTTP. Perfect. So next we're going to create a volume called data. So let's go ahead and go to volumes, map additional volume, we'll just say that twice so after we've got that, let's go ahead and SSH into our machine. We're going to be doing bind. You could do volumes. I like to bind just so I can recreate the um, container and not really have to worry about losing data. I just find it easier to work with. It's not required, but it's easier to work with. So let's go SSH STC at the machine's IP. Um, you will notice that I am using a different machine than the last tutorial because I thought it would be easier to not have to redo everything before each tutorial. Okay, so now that we're in here, let's go into root sudo su. So now we are running as the root user. That's just going to make things easier for us. We're going to cd slash. Okay, so now let's do mkdir slash srv slash docker data. Perfect. So now if we do, oops, cd, let's do ls slash srv, we'll see we have a folder called docker data. Let's go ahead and pop into docker data. Oops. srv slash docker data ls. Okay, so now that we're here, let's go see what the folders are going to be for. So this is going to be for data and let's encrypt. So let's go ahead and create a folder called, M called Nginx Proxy Manager, just so we can keep this a little more organized. Perfect, so now we're in here. mkdir data, mkdir. Okay, perfect, so now we have these two folders right here, and they are going to sto store our data. So now in here, we're going to, whoops, I'm going to copy the slash data. Okay, so that's going to be our container path. And then we're also going to copy the etc slash let's encrypt right there. Perfect. Then the path on host is going to be the path to the folders we created. So you don't necessarily have to use the file path I did. That's just the one I like to use. So we're going to do, just copy this part and then paste that and slash data. 
And then we called the other one let's encrypt slash let's encrypt. Perfect. So now that will be created. And let's see, did we miss anything? It doesn't look like it. Perfect. So now we're just going to hit deploy container. It may take a moment as it does have to download this image from docker.io. Okay, I do seem to have made an error. Um, spaces are not allowed in your container names. So we're just going to do nginx proxy manager without spaces. Let's go ahead and try that again. See if it'll work this time. Luckily it won't take as long that time or the second time because it already has the most recent image up or downloaded. Now we've got that installed. Let's go ahead and see if we can access it. 1.211 port 81. So that's what we're going to type in. We're going to type in the machine's IP colon 81 like that. And then that will bring us to our nginx proxy manager login screen. Now there is a default login, so we're going to do admin at example.com, and then the password is change me. Perfect. So now we're logged in, we're not going to remember that. I'm going to name this admin at synthetic.media.group. I'm never going to use this again, so I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, current password is change me. We're just going to set this to something insecure. Perfect. So now we can see we have our account created, our password is changed. Perfect. Okay. So now if we head to our dashboard, it's going to say we have zero proxy hosts, zero redirection hosts, zero streams, and zero 404 hosts. Now I'm going to pull a little bit of a switcheroo because I only have one IP address accessible on this network. So I'm actually going to switch over to my personal Nginx proxy manager and we are going to complete the rest of the tutorial from there. Alrighty, so now that we're here, let's go ahead and find our IP address. So we can just do that by typing what is my IP into just about any search engine, and that'll give you your IP address. Mine is obviously going to be blurred out along with my location info because I don't want you guys knowing that. Alrighty, so now let's head over to our DNS records. Go ahead and add record. We will go ahead and call this portainer. The domain name will be portainer.archive.vet. Next, we're going to paste in our IP address. That is perfect. I'm going to just comment that this is for the tutorial. Docker tutorial series. Perfect. So let's go ahead and hit save. Now we've got that. So now if we go to portainer.archive.vet archive.vet and it'll 404 because this isn't set up so we're gonna do that alrighty ladies and gentlemen before anything else you will need to port forward ports 80 and 443 to the address of your nginx proxy manager that will allow it to access the internet or it will, it will allow other people to access it from the internet so now that we've done that let's go ahead and head over to the proxy hosts this is all going to be blurred. Enjoy that. Click Add Proxy Host. And then we're going to do portainer.archive.vet. Perfect. Then, since our portainer instance is already running under HTTPS, we will need to switch that to HTTPS. And then we will type in the IP address, 192.168.211 in my case and we are using port 9443. Perfect. Then we're gonna head over to our SSL tab. Go ahead and click request new SSL certificate with Let's Encrypt. Okay. And then we are going to obviously force SSL um, because our page will not work without SSL enabled. So let's go ahead and stick with that. Perfect. And then we are going to click I agree. So let's hit save. And you will need to enter your email address. It may take a moment. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and head back to our portainer.archive.vet. Hit refresh and see if it'll work. 
Awesome, it's working. Now let's see if I can remember what I named my account. Hmm, admin. Very secure. Admin. Amazing. So that is it. We have successfully set up Nginx Proxy Manager and then created a public facing website. So that is it. So this is very simple to do. I will have the rest of the series playlist linked in the description below as well as on screen at the end of the video. As always, I hope you had a nice day. I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Thank you.